the challenge is to not only um, build our research base, but it's to, to try and ensure that we consolidate our uh, position in the world, um, but really set our sights e e even uh, to even higher aims, really. So now that we're in the global top 100, uh, we need to stay there and we need to actually be uh, recognized reputationally for being, um, for being one of that top groups of universities. I think for us it means increasing our research power. We're, we're actually still relatively small. We have fantastic research here, but it's still a relatively small base. I think we do need to grow. We need to grow particularly in certain subject areas, um, certain types of activity. And I think we need to hold true to our interdisciplinary um, ambitions. Uh, Exeter's research is novel because it's at the fertile boundaries between disciplines. That was a, a deliberate strategy embarked upon more than 10 years ago now uh, to ensure that whenever we do grow, we're growing to address questions, to address real world problems. Uh, we're not growing in traditional academic disciplinary areas, we're growing instead um, in those real fertile spaces where we're addressing really world um, really significant issues such as global uncertainties, uh, such as uh, human migrations, uh, uh, such as food security. So air, things which, which we know are, uh, are large questions that can only be addressed using an interdisciplinary approach. Those are the things that I think that Exeter has become known for, and I think that, uh, that we need to capitalize on that success and re-push on to the next stage.